Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a new episode of Low Code Corner. Every Monday morning we discuss about a very specific problem you might face uh, during the uh, development of a database application. Um, very often uh, the, the, the problems uh, we, we discuss are uh, strictly related to uh, Databeak, our uh, no-code, low-code uh, uh, development platform. But sometimes, uh, like in, in this episode, we uh, discuss about something that uh, can be useful for, uh, for Databeak, but more in general for any PHP application. Uh, and uh, mm, I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, referring to PHP sessions. Um, uh, I receive quite often questions related to, uh, in particular related to session uh, timeout, how to set uh, um, a timeout for PHP sessions. So I think it's uh, useful to, to clarify some of the aspects related to this. Uh, topic. So first of all, what is a session variable? Uh, to make it very, very simple, it's a variable that once you set it, uh, can be used across pages. So basically you set it, uh, the user changes uh, the page or loads another page, the variable is still there, still has the value uh, you set before. Uh, maybe it sounds obvious, but uh, if you are old enough to remember uh, PHP 3, where, um, well, in, in that period, we didn't have, uh, uh, PHP didn't provide uh, sessions, uh, built-in sessions. So basically, as a, uh, as a programmer, as a PHP programmer, you had to uh, pass those values uh, uh, page by page using uh, manually using the query string so uh, with uh, uh, those uh, l long URLs but, but anyway since PHP 4 uh, we have uh, uh, fortunately we have uh, uh, built-in uh, uh, sessions management in PHP so how are sessions implemented in PHP. Uh, so by default, uh, um, you have a, a solution based on uh, cookies on the client side and text files on the server side. So when a user uh, visits um, your page, a, a session cookie is uh, created um, on, on the on the uh, users uh, side and uh, um, with a with a specific ID and uh, on the other side on the server side um, you can store a set of variables related to that ID and uh, by default uh, uh, the the values of those uh, uh, session variables uh, uh, are stored uh, in a text uh, file. Uh, a typical use for uh, session variables, for example, is authentication. Uh, uh, a user uh, logs in uh, with uh, email and password. Um, the the PHP application uh, the, the PHP application um, checks uh, if uh, the user password combination is fine, and if it is. Uh, uh, a session variable is a set, uh, for example, a, a variable uh, user logged is set to one. Um, and uh, um, from that moment, uh, if the user uh, visits other page, uh, the status of the user will be logged. So the application want to uh, ask him or her to enter again uh, email and password okay uh, typically for security reason uh, if the user doesn't keep the session alive uh, by loading uh, uh, pages by visiting pages the session after a while expires and uh, as i said uh, at the beginning 
uh, very often the question is how can I set uh, the session timeout in PHP? Uh, if you think there is um, a magic parameter that you can set to, uh, let's say, five minutes, and then you are 100% sure that after five minutes of inactivity, uh, the session uh, will expire, mm, you are wrong. Things, unfortunately, are more uh, complicated. So, first of all, uh, there isn't any database parameter to control the session timeout. Uh, I'm thinking about introducing uh, such parameters uh, in a future release, but at the moment, uh, Databic version 10.1 Manarola, we don't have uh, uh, such parameters. So you have to work on the PHP session parameters. And now I'll show you how. Um, I'm assuming that uh, your hosting provider doesn't have its own settings uh, that override the PHP uh, session settings because in that case uh, mm, what I set here might not work. So mm, probably the main uh, session parameter that you will find in your uh, php.ini uh, file is uh, uh, GC max lifetime. Uh, what's the meaning of this parameter? Um, I'll read the uh, definition we have on the php.net website. Specifies the number of seconds after which data will be seen as garbage and potentially cleaned up. So, um, basically, uh, by default, uh, this parameter is set to um, 1440, which is uh, 24 minutes, basically. Uh, you, you can change this uh, value um, and you can, changing, uh, you can change it uh, uh, directly in your uh, php.ini uh, file, if you are allowed to do that. Uh, but you can also use the uh, ini set uh, function to, to set it uh, inside your um, PHP script. Uh, for example, a, a good place uh, to, um, to put this uh, instruction in a, a database application is in your um, config custom PHP uh, file. Uh, but this is not enough. Uh, remember what we uh, said before, the definition uh, from the php.net website. Uh, they said uh, potentially cleaned up. So why potentially? Um, I forgot to mention uh, one, one thing that is important to say. Uh, if you need to use uh, uh, sessions uh, in, a, in a page, in a PHP page, you have to call the session start function, okay? And uh, um, the so-called garbage collection routine in PHP is not executed every time session start is called. That's why potentially the session is uh, cleaned. Uh, it is called uh, according to other two parameters, GC probability and uh, GC um, divisor. Uh, by default, uh, the probability, the GC probability is one and the GC divisor is 100. Uh, that means uh, uh, there is a 1% chance that the garbage collection routine starts on each request. Uh, you can increase the probability. Uh, so if I set, for example, GC probability to 100, then the, the routine is always called. Okay. Um, but remember that this might have an impact on the performances. How significant the impact is must be evaluated case by case. So just to uh, summarize, 
the combination of session uh, GC uh, max lifetime, uh, session GC probability and uh, session GC divisor impacts on your PHP session timeout and you can uh, edit those parameters in your um, php.ini file if you are allowed to do that or you can also uh, set those parameter, uh, parameters uh, using uh, the ini set function in php again if uh, you don't have a uh, particular if your hosting provider doesn't have uh, particular uh, policies that uh, uh, override um, your settings uh, related to php sessions there are still a couple of things that might impact on the sessions uh, on the session timeout, uh, the duration of the session cookie and uh, the fact that different scripts uh, might share the same folder uh, for storing the session. Uh, but I, I want to keep this uh, video relatively um, short, so I will add uh, those additional details uh, in the description of the video. All right? And uh, that's it for this episode. If you, uh, if you want to ask questions, you can add uh, a comment here or publish a post on our forum. So see you next time. Ciao!